while we're down here uh, testing the area or getting near to test the area of initiative buying in the 74s we ticked down to the 75s we saw some cross trade but didn't get down to the 74s and it hit the ass we're going to be patient and see if we can get the 74s, 75s okay we're down here now testing this cross trade area alright we're approaching this area now just in the mid 74s is where we had some uh, two-sided activity with a positive bias so let's see if we can get down here just a little bit more didn't develop much volume here on the on the comparison all right we're gonna take we're gonna take the 76s would have liked to got the 75s but we're gonna take the 76 ticks so we are long two at 76 All right, we just sold one, 77 and a quarter. Our break even stop at 76. And our target is um, the close. That's what our target's gonna be. We're gonna stay with this thing till the close. And our stop is break even. And the reason we're going to stay with this with the close is it, we broke above resistance at, at 83. We went back under, tested the high volume area in the 70. Well, we didn't quite get down to the 74s, but it traded to the top part of that high volume cluster, the high cluster volume area. And I've never stayed with a trade to the close, and uh, we're only an hour from the close. So let's see how how it works. Worst case scenario, we'll take a point and a quarter, and we'll break even on the second contract. Worst case. And also, we're about an hour after the Federal Reserve, so the market's already made its um, initial thrust up. Retracement back to the 67s. That was an area we had marked on the chart. I, I took it on paper, but didn't actually execute the trade on the snippet. And then we have the rally to 87, which is above yes, uh, which is above the resistance area of the 17th in the A period high. So we'll see if we can rally on the close. Well, it ticked in the 76s, but 7675 on the bid. Our stop is break even 76. We'll see um, if they click the 76. I'd like to get back in this trade if we do get stopped out. Wow, there's there's a 76 tick, so we are out. Uh, we're going to take the 77s, so we are long two at 77. The reason we went back in and bought two at 77 was we saw the cross trade here. Might have been a little early on that. We'll, we'll hold it here and see. We're going to employ the same strategy. We're looking for our 78.25 tick for our first point and a half. Or excuse me, for our first point and a quarter. We just got that. So now we have a break even stop at 77 and we have our target to close. We'll see uh, if that 77 getting back in after we got stopped out, which I see quite a bit, uh, even though we had to pay a higher price, was uh, an astute move. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to get uh, our target hit at the close. We can't seem to get any traction to the upside. A couple points and boom, right back down. There's our uh, break even, 77 filled. We're going to pause this again, give us another shot. The 75 area, 74, 75 area was where that two or two and a half point area that build volume came in. So let's see if we can pick up the 75s here. Maybe we can even get into the 74s. We'll see if there's any cross trades, see what the pullback column shows us. Negative 16 delta in this column, so we haven't seen anybody hit the ask yet. Testing the 74s. Alright, there's the 73s now. Let's see. We're right in the middle of that cluster. 72s, 73s, the 72s are the low end of the volume cluster. We start to see some ask activity. Let's take the 7275s. Long, too. 7275. And we see some cross trade here. 7275. We'll pause this for a second.
Okay, we're filled on the 7275s, and we have a break-even stop at 72.75, and we're going to again set the uh, set our uh, exit at the close. Now, on, th on this trade, this is probably one of the better trade locations we have. We're just able to, you know, identify that uh, volume cluster that the, we traded to the low end of that 72.75 was a good fill on that cross trade. So now let's see if 72.75 can hold, and if it doesn't hold, does it give us an opportunity to be quick enough to get a price, you know, within a point? 73s. <laughs> it's a shame to give up the 72s for the 73s, but um, yeah, it's a it's a that's a money management system that uh, so far has had us in the green, and uh, we're going to um, compare month to month various uh, nuances and adjustments of, of various approaches, but. Um, this one is, is a break even stop at 72.75. And we already have our first point in a the quarter. There's our 72.75 uh, stop hit. So we are out of the market on, uh, on a stop for break even. That's the third time we didn't get our target at the close. Um, well, we're going to uh, produce this video since we ran out of paper on this side. And. Um, Take a break a little bit and uh, probably call it a day. I wouldn't be surprised that the uh, market from this area rallies toward the close. A matter of fact, um, since we have six minutes left or uh, four minutes left on this video, we're going to keep it open and revisit uh, in about 45 minutes uh, and see where this, this is. But based on the um, evidence I see, the 67s were, was where the initiative buying occurred um, quickly and then uh, Two-sided trade with a positive bias occurred between 72 and 74, and uh, that brought us 10 points higher to the 87 area. So it'll be interesting to see where we close. We should close above the um, previous area of resistance, 83, uh, with the initiative buying. If we close below that uh, area, 83, and we see selling into the close, then um, that 83 resistance area um, creates some resistance. There's definitely some initiative selling up there in 8384. If we can't rally up to that point on the close, then um, I think we're we're probably looking at um, you know some selling from here. Wow, we were right down here in the area of the 67s. We got to look for this area for an entry here. It it uh, melted through the 73s. Uh, we never had a chance of finishing strong on the close. Uh, we're about 45 minutes from the close. Actually, from the cancel that statement, we still might. Um, but you know, this little area down here is where the um, initiative buying came in. Now the area right below us is very relatively modest. Uh, there are hardly any volume to the, all the way down to the 61s. So I'm going to stay here and watch this. I'm a little bit hesitant to take a position here because I've never uh, experienced a, you know, volume area that didn't have any volume below the 65, 50, 60, anything below the fifth 65, 50 has 11 contracts, 100 contracts, 49, 11, 79, 119, um, 30, 29, 67, 3, 78, 38, 12, 440, 15, 17, 22, 271, crazy numbers. Those are uh, total volumes also. So maybe that 65 was was a real good buy. Maybe that area, that low volume area will be uh, supportive. There just um, you know wasn't uh, enough inventory to supply that area. That is to supply that area on the way up toward the high is 20 points above us. All right, here we're in that area of no volume, 63s few hundred contracts traded in the 63s. Wow, the point of control today is the 58. If uh, we enter back into the point of control in the 58s, I think we're going to do some uh, backing and filling in uh, distribution range over the last four or five days that we've established. Well, there you have a very interesting uh, day. We're a couple minutes before the cash close. We're at 1354. About 30 points from where uh, I initially wanted to sell it in the 1383 areas that I talked about. And uh, we didn't get filled. Um, somehow we missed the trade. 
we uh, were also we made a few points trying to buy the uh, bounce off the initiative buying in the uh, 1430 period, the J period, but we um, didn't take advantage of the trade that we really would have liked to, and uh, that's interesting. I'm going to wrap this video now and call it a day.